everybody. Well, tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. So this is part two of my two-part series of all things Irish. And I am going to be making today two spectacular drinks. The first one needs a blender. Now what I did already is I took a whole pint of a really good quality vanilla ice cream. And this is the Madagascar vanilla bean ice cream that I like to use all the time and eat. It's the Calente brand. So you just need a good quality one pint ice cream in your blender. You also need a quarter of a cup of peppermint schnapps. Now, not to be confused with peppermint extract, folks. You really need to get the schnapps. And then what you want to do is you want to add in about a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I make my own. So I'm going to put that in there. And you need some green food coloring. And really, it's up to you how green you want this. I mean, you want it neon green, you want it light green. We're gonna find out in a minute how green this is. But a little bit of noise here, folks. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Let me check this out. Uh, I kind of think that's the right color green, so I'm going to stop right here. And I don't want it to look too green, but what I want to do here is I want to divide this. Oh, that's a perfect green, frankly. <laughs> I don't say so myself. And add that in here and make sure you have some mint sprigs. Oh, doesn't that just look yummy? And then you're ready to move on to the second drink, which is the Pièce Résistance Irish Coffee. So let me clean this up and I'll show you how to make that. Okay, now I'm ready to do the Irish coffee. So first things first, in Irish coffee mugs, necessity, I have here some brown sugar. I have about a teaspoon of brown sugar and I'm using the light brown sugar in each one. I made a pretty strong brew of coffee and I'm going to add that in next. As you can see, it's steaming. It's really important that it's nice and hot. Okay. And you have to stir this until the sugar is dissolved. All right. Irish coffee needs Irish whiskey. Got an ounce in each. Irish coffee, in my case, needs little bit of peppermint schnapps, about a half an ounce per serving. And Bailey's Irish Cream. I'm gonna put that in next. Give this a good stir. All right, now what we need to do is, okay, we wanna add here a little bit of whipped cream. Oh, good. And next, what we want to do is a little bit of chocolate syrup or chocolate shavings. Just enough. And there you go. Ah, you've got yourself a great Irish coffee. Well, I'm Rania Harris. I'm not Irish, but I sure am going to drink this as soon as the camera turns off. Love you, miss you, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Bottoms up. I Rania. love her honesty. I'm sure going to drink this as yeah. soon as the camera's off. It was off. the chocolate that did it for me. I know. Well, we were both watching it sort of mesmerized. Mm -hmm. And if you could, you can't, you couldn't have heard us at home, but we were both like, mmm, yeah. But it's something worth trying. And for a copy of today's recipe, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. We have it posted for you right there.